Hello, my Aries friends. Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for all y'all this coming week for, wait, I almost forgot the date. Uh, we'll be from the 11th to the 18th. All right. For weekly finances, money, career from the 11th to the 18th. Whoa, it's coming in for all y'all. Queen of Swords. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. And the Nine of Cups, your wish comes true, concerns fade away in a love of life. So there's some decisions to make this week. Dare I say they're not possibly going to make some people happy. But you are going to receive an opportunity of some sort or get wind of it, whether through a tarot reader or whichever. You will be getting wind of some sort of opportunity that's that's coming your way. I just noticed how we have the big circle here that she's holding a crystal ball, running forward quickly with things and getting a move on it. And here we have a big circle being handed to you by Earth. So we have being grounded while using your mind to move forward. It's like being logical but at the same time not afraid to experience the emotion involved in it all as i said the ace of cups brand new opportunity we have brand new home perhaps some of you might be moving perhaps some of you were going to be brought an opportunity that makes you emotional uh this is an opportunity in business this is an opportunity that business affords possibly a new start financially for you it affords a new everything. It's going to take confidence to step into it. It's like a believing in yourself in a way perhaps you've not done before. And perhaps there's been fears surrounding money and finance career. A magician. Having everything at your disposal to make this happen. And if you don't have the resources, you know how to create them. You'll know how to get them. Or if you don't know at this point, certain people will come into your life and help you figure that out moving forward. There's something about that there as well. Seven of Wands, feeling a little bit protective, a bit defensive, trying to defend what you've created. So people may not like what you are starting, they may not like what you are doing, so it may put you in a defensive frame of mind. I wonder if, if you almost feel like someone's pulling some sort of trickery on you. <laughs> if you've been waiting for a new thing for quite some time, they very well may be pulling. You may feel like someone's trying to trick you with this. Is this even real? What's actually going on here? We'll pull clarifiers on this here as we get going. But there is a definitely a need. You feel a need to defend what would be a victory for you. You could very well be chosen because of the victories you've had so far. This could be a job promotion even. This could be moving to a new sector in your company. This could be heading a sector in your company. Whatever this is about. Vying for that new position. Vying for the new. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Being independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Some of you could be going into self-employment as well. Now, there's a wish granted coming your way. Concerns fade away, a love of life. There's been some sort of nefarious nonsense going on behind the scenes. Whether you're wondering or pondering in your mind if you should get out while the getting's good or someone else is. There could be falsehoods being told, lies. They're just This is destructive behavior nonetheless. But it's usually the mind that's playing that destructive behavior on a person. <clears throat> because swords in the tarot are about the mind, right? So your mind, your thoughts, how they end up creating things. It's like someone might want to just pick up their things and get out, fly away. And put an end to something. Getting out while the getting's good. There's a definite end here. And, and in moving forward with whatever this is, it very well could be that 
you put an end to this cycle you've been in about self-sabotaging. So no more self-sabotaging, getting on the train. That makes sense because I felt some sort of apprehension over here about, you know, will this work? Will it actually work? Do I have the resources? Will I have the resources? How do I make it work? Well, I'm not ready to go ahead yet, hence maybe being defensive to others. So putting an end to the self-sabotaging energy is going to bring about a very big wish granted for you. Ace of Swords. Well, your friendly neighborhood tarot reader just spoke the truth to you. Challenging information. It could be information that you find out after a cycle has ended about things that were going on behind the scenes. And it really makes you happy to find that out because then you start to realize that maybe, you know, it wasn't all your fault if you're blaming yourself. It wasn't all just in your head. It's actually, there's a truth about the whole situation. <clears throat> the Fool card, taking a leap of faith. So delivering the truth, accepting the truth. This could also be a double-edged sword, right? Speaking the truth makes you feel good, but at the same time, it still carries with it the cutting out or cutting off process. So ending a cycle to the sabotage, the mental uh, confusion, the mental whatever. Because a truth is being delivered that puts an end to something. This transformation card here of death, it's like your soul is being called. Your soul is being called. Your soul knows the way, so you need to trust your soul. Five of Wands, conflict, not sure what to do, afraid of even the competition, not knowing how it's going to look. Sometimes when we can't see how things are going to look, we tend to run. You have three aces in your reading already. Three aces. Can you believe that? The new starts that my Aries friends are up upon. And these are not aces that come to you in the very beginning of an idea. These are aces that come to you, that are gifted to you from the divine because of the work you've done all along and thus far you see you have a new start new opportunity you will have the abundance you need god is in charge of how that will happen and possibly new romance as well a new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through your reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love so they want you to open your heart there's a new relationship or new finances. This could be a new job, new career, a new job opportunity that brings about meeting someone that you care about at that thing, a kindred partnership. But this is romance, my friends. They're talking, we're talking about money here. And all of a sudden, as you open up to the new financial possibilities, the new love possibilities come flowing in too. Perhaps somebody is uh, going to a business conference or something and they're Going to a business conference and very well may meet someone down there. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, please. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Meditation is key, my friends. Get out, get in nature, practice yoga. Yoga is a frame of mind. Yoga is a state of being. It's just like any type of spiritual-based religion or whichever you end up uh you know, trying to get in touch with your higher self, with the highest version of you, and all these things. So, give me one more card, the crowning energy. Because what is the, the grounding energy is this five of wands, which means there's definitely conflict going on. You're conflicted about what to do. King of swords. We have king of swords and queen of swords now. So, very much taking that logical standpoint doesn't matter what's going on it doesn't matter what emotions are flowing forward or whichever it's about taking that emotional standpoint and bringing yourself to a sorry about the camera <laughs> bringing yourself to a place where I'm sorry I have to fix that it's gonna drive me crazy so there's gonna be something going on here that you very well may need uh, adjustments on so you get going, you get doing something one way or another way, and you end up needing to adjust how it's all happening anyways, because uh, in the interim, there may need adjustments before you can move ahead. Could be that if you're going to sign a contract of any circumstance to just be really 
aware of the fine print. Tell me about this King of Swords, please, for my Aries friends. The Wheel of Fortune, a time of positive change. Things are looking up. That is beautiful energy. Tell me about the Romance card. Justice. Huh. I wonder if this per I just heard no Notary Republic. Something about the Notary Republic needing to have something signed. Tell me about the Yoga card. Communication coming in fast. So some communication is going to come in fast that might be challenging to deal with. Hence the need for readjustment in the plans, the situation. So just keep an eye out for that. Tell me about the death card, please. We have the Emperor. Judge, boss, CEO. I wonder if these new starts are going to help you put an end to a job you don't want to be in. Or it could be that someone's uh, the owner of a company or a senior member of the company could be not well and pass away, which puts up about a whole bunch of, of hmm, yeah, well, there's a whole lot of things to deal with when someone passes away. A tower moment. Tower moment involving getting out while the getting's good and ending of a situation with a boss. You could have a boss that's really been up your butt. And it's not been much fun. <clears throat> Tell me about the Ace of Swords. King of Cups. Someone delivering the truth. Needing to find balance in your emotions. The Fool card. We have not being able to see everything around you. But taking the leap of faith anyway. Walking away from the emotional confusion. Wanting to go find your happy. And it seems that's exactly what you're going to do. It's almost like the universe is coming in to put an end to something maybe you didn't have the courage to do as of yet ace of pentacles there's your wish granted happiness the clarification for the cups carrying a burden a heavy burden perhaps with somebody for quite some time this is in the emotional atmosphere or love or the new start the magician someone offering god offering you something you're like but i don't have enough i don't know what to do Seven of Wands, feeling defensive. This definitely could be entrepreneurship here. Definitely could be. All right, let's pull one finishing card for you guys. One more message from the Divine. Something's coming crashing down to give you a happiness. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate, cultivate fluttering moments of joy. Kind of like wherever you go. Action. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. So I think it's better to move forward sooner than later here and do what you want to do. And I think as you do that and as you quickly take the steps forward, logically, but quickly, you end up avoiding some sort of kerfuffle that it seems that you find out later and the truth comes, up, comes out about. Okay? I love you guys. Blessings to you.